Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So yesterday I shared a video on Wing Chun is not a concept art which is open for everybody's interpretations. And also in that video, I have shared how to properly using the Ngao Sao or the hook hand, which is you using the hook hand to get into the opponents from an angle, not a direct confrontations. Now, after that, already I have received many messages from our Wing Chun friends, asked me many different type of questions, range from uh, soft art, hard art, close range fighting, fudging, all sort of stuff. So today, I like to clear what is a hard, what is a soft, uh, what is a close range fighting like a Wing Chun? What is the long range? Also, Jing, Fa Jing, force flow and momentum. So here on, you are really clear on what is going on. This thing need to be clear now. We are running out of time for Wing Chun. So I'm going to share with you this in details and you might want to watch this video again and again and a different section and so forth, but make sure you get it. Now, one thing I like to address here is I'm presenting here on the subject today, on the content today, not to say that I'm the grandmaster. I surpass every grandmaster in the past 140 years. That's not the bottom line, the agenda. I want to make it clear is because many Chinese, especially Chinese, you say one thing, they have different type of thoughts. You say, is they going to think West or Hendrix is going to trick me and all sort of stuff. So I don't like those kind of things. I'm American. So I tell you flat what it is. This is for education. This is not for myself using the uh, information which I get very luckily. Yeah, the term is very luckily. I do not have any uh, better or higher or superior uh, capability than any one of you. I just being lucky in the right time and right place so I know this, okay? And the bottom line is is Wing Chun going to stay or not? So what I'm presenting to you today is so that Wing Chun can stay and we can stand tall as a Wing Chuner, okay? Now, Hot and soft, hot and soft. It is well defined in the ancient. Okay. So say I face my opponent. Okay, I face my opponent. This is his center line here, center axis here. This is my center axis here. I'm facing him. So face to face, I'm fighting him and both party try to, uh, to, 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 to knock out the other one, the other person, either suppress it with the speed, momentum, strength, techniques, face to face, okay? 
That is hot. So hot mean facing your opponent. There is a line of fire between me and the opponent. So I am or he is trying to KO me with the uh, the, 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 the suppressions me or, or, or him with the massive power, massive strength, a lot of speed, momentum. Basically, it's a race of momentum, strength, power, speed. That is called heart. Okay, heart. Gang. What is soft? South is defined even in 460 years ago in the general Chi Chi Guan classic as in my book. South is attacking, not fighting. Okay, this is fighting. Okay, uh, using the intensity of speed, momentum, uh, power, and so forth to just to knock off people and so forth. South is to dodge and angle in, to strike, to attack your opponent. Okay? That is the definition of soft. You dodge into an angle to attack your opponent without fighting with him, competing who is more powerful, faster, more momentum, have more hand techniques as in the heart. So South means you will dodge away. You are not going to fight him face to face, but you attack him, not facing him face to face. You got it? That's called South. So you do not fight strength with strength. So in the over here, in the hard thing, even if I say I have this technique, that technique, as soon as I am playing with strength, momentum, and uh, speed, trying to uh, suppress the other party, that is hard. Soft mean you just dodge away from that situations to happen. You attack him without you fighting him face to face. So the key word is in the heart is you are fighting him, exchange with power and so forth and try to see who is more powerful and all those stuff. Soft mean, I'm not going to play that game. My game is I'm going to dodge away and attack you. That is the definitions of heart, gang, and row, and soft. Gang and row, row, soft, got nothing to do with strength. I dodge away, I want to KO him. I still need strength to KO him. Okay? In this case, I need my body strength and my arm, the entire body strength to uh, the, 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 the body strength and the arm strength and so forth to, to KO him. I need that strength. So even I'm soft, I still need the strength. So this is the definition of hot and soft. This clear. And here on, please, Wing Chun, stop to say that Wing Chun is soft. We don't need to use strength. You don't need to have a strength. Forget about it. If you want to KO a person, you need strength. You are not playing like Si Xiao Tong said, slapping around, sit standing there, exchange and both have a black eyes. Okay? So you know that's what is hard, what is uh, soft. Disregard hard or soft, you need strength. 
that's the bottom line. Okay, now, often people talk about Wing Chun is a close quarter fighting. Well, so what is the definition? Today's when people say they are close quarter fighting, 99.999%, it is not close quarter fighting as the ancient definitions of the Wing Chun, which is the short strike art. So right now, let's get into the definition of the long fist and short strike out. Okay. Long fist mean one fighting the opponent, like uh, just now in the hard case, you know, fighting the opponent, punching each other using this different techniques like a hook and then you do a tan da all those kind of stuff you always keep a more than 40 centimeter distance between two person you can go this way but you always have a 40 centimeter more than a 40 centimeter of distance that's called long fist. Okay? That's called long fist. You always keep the 40 centimeter. What is a short strike? The close body fighting of uh, Wing Chun. Well, the Wing Chun term, which is everybody know, but everybody don't know, have already defined it. The close fight, uh, uh, quarter or close range fighting of Wing Chun have three characteristics in the same time. One is Chiong Kok. You have to dodge with an angle. Chiong Kok. The second is my son. Meaning that now you are within that 40 centimeter. Okay, so Chong Kok is to rob the angle. My son is you get close to his body, meaning now you are within that 40 centimeter. And the third one is Big Bow. Literally, it's a pressuring the steps. Well, that means that you actually threaten his balance, his center axis. Okay, so in the today's term is you dodge into the angle, you have an angle change, you get within that 40 centimeter, and you always threaten his balance or his center axis or his leg or whatever. You threaten his, his, his balance, his body. So this is very different than f uh, fighting face to face. So the, the long face is the fighting face to face. You are not angling, robbing the angle in. Long face is fighting face to face. You keep a 40 centimeter or more distance with all whatever your techniques, you can do whatever your techniques. That's long fist. So when you talk about <coughs> Wing Chun, it's already out in everywhere. You say that you have the Chong Kok My Son Take Bow. Let's short strike. Okay. Now, one thing you have to be careful is if you don't train in the footwork and the body strength or the core strength, as what I explained in previous uh, few videos, you cannot do this. You are not trained in short strike or the close body fighting of Wing Chun. You are not. So <clears throat> that is the reality. That's the truth. 
Now, people sometimes mess up with uh, something called short bridge, twin Q, chong Q. What the twin Q, chong Q got nothing to do with this long fighting, short fight, uh, close range fighting, long fist fighting. Twin Q, chong Q. Twin chong Q, it just means this angle, this angle, okay? Like uh, the, the, the elbow angle. Twin Q is 90 or less than 90 degree angle. Chong Q is almost 180 degree straight. So this is Chong Q South. Like at Biu Ji, this is almost straight, the, 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 the elbow. This is called long bridge. If I go in like that, this is 90 or less than 90 degree. When I drive in, that's called twin Q. Okay? So get this thing clear. Between long fist, <clears throat> short strike, close fighting, long bridge, short bridge. For past 100 years or so, everybody talking about long bridge, short bridge, but they do not explain this thing. That's why most people today, 99.999% of the people, they are doing long fist. Well, I, my, my, my bridge can be really short, short bridge, but I'm still 40, 40 centimeter away from the opponent and then I'm fighting in the face-to-face -face manner. I'm not doing the robbing angle. Stick to the body within the 40 centimeter and pressurize him. In this type of fighting, you don't have that pressurize of your opponent. Okay, Both can get knocked out. So this is the definitions of long fist, short strike, and make it so clear that long bridge and short bridge got nothing to do with long, or I should say that it's a different thing with the long fist and short strike or close body fighting, okay? So, Stop to saying this is a close quarter fighting. This is a long fist fighting. This is not a close quarter fighting of Wing Chun. Close quarter fighting of Wing Chun is this. You always have to pressurize his, uh, his, uh, his center axis, his core. This one, you don't have that. And you stay 40 centimeter away from him. And you do it face to face. Okay, so that's long fist, that's not short strike. Now, the last thing I want to clarify is Fa Jing, internal Jing versus momentum. Many people, even after they learn from me, some of this force flow of Fa Jing, they thought that's the ultimate. Well, that is not. In today's scientific term, let me clearly clear it for you once for all. All those fudging stuff, force flow stuff, happen only. There's a delay after contact. I want to play force flow. I want to play the 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 jing or whatever internal whatever or taking your force to my body and out of body. I need to contact and there's a delay depend on how quick I can handle that force flow, activate that force flow. That always is a delay. Okay? Momentum it is at contact, at that contact. 
it is effective at that contact. Meaning that if a punch strike down at the contact, the momentum, the impulse is already in. Meaning that if one play Fa Jing or accept his power or strength, whatever you call it, or force flow, you need to have a delay after the touching, the contact, and that delay is based on your skill, your Kung Fu, even if you have it develop that force flow. Okay. So momentum is at contact. Force flow always one step late. That's why in Wing Chun, the shoot in, this is momentum. The force flow play only over here when you're pressurizing, it is at contact already. Then you can play that thing. That's where the force flows positions is. Now, force flow is useless compared with momentum because force flow always have that delay after contact before it can activate. It doesn't matter. That's why in the past 100 years or more, in the if you if you if you study the records of the Chinese martial artists go to Thailand to fight, there is nobody, no one can defeat the Thai boxer with this Fa Jing uh, internal uh, all this stuff, force flow stuff. Why? Because momentum is much faster than you. At contact, it already the inputs going in. Okay. So, do not make a mistake thinking that I have to, I can uh, uh, play with your force of your strength. I can uh, lead your stand down to the ground and then uh, re return you the strength, those kind of stuff, the push hand stuff, the Tai Chi and so forth. Don't mistake that as the first priority. It's a deadly price to play, to pay if you think that. Look at Xi Xiao Dong and Lei Lei. That's a classical case. Lei Lei can do all his Tai Chi, Fajing and all this. Look at his him in t televisions demonstrations. But when the momentum shoot in at contact of Xi Xiao Tong, Xi Xiao Tong run through him. That is the reality of fighting. That's why in General Chi Chi Guang's classic 460 years ago, it talked about momentum, not about this Fajing force flow stuff. Make that clear, okay? So I already clarify for you, hard and soft, long fist and short strike. And then this internal strength, force flow, fudging, whatever you want to call it, mind power and momentum. And I have already clarified for you, soft doesn't mean that you don't need strength. Soft, you need a lot of strength, otherwise you cannot KO the other people. Short strike, you need to train your body handling, your core handling, your body uh, mobility. In order to be able to, 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 uh, to use it, to apply it. Okay? So this is technical stuff. Now look back at Wing Chun today. Look back at Wing Chun today. Wing Chun today, or uh, Wing Chun 1960, or in the past 140 years, that is not short strike by the ancient gen definition, not by Hendrik Santos' opinion. By the ancient definition I just shared with you. Why? 
this type of chi sao is a new evolution in Wing Chun like in the 1920, early 1900, or late 1800, uh, 1800, late 1800 to early 1900. Look at this 40 centimeter. You know that there's a short strike. There's not a <coughs> Uh, 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 so, uh, you know that this is a long fist, not a short strike. 40 centimeter face to face. Try to see how uh, faster using different techniques. There is a long fist stuff. That's not the short strike stuff. It doesn't train your angling and your body strength. Your wooden dummy. Again, that 40 centimeter. Again, that face to face fighting. Again, that speeding. <clears throat> Try to suppress the opponent or defeat the opponent with the speeding. That is a long fist art. So, this is the reality. I know it's very difficult to swallow. I know with this information, you know that <clears throat> the ancient Wing Chun <clears throat> is already gone in the past 140 years you place your limb tau you're standing there playing your hand with your structure or no structure there's some lineage is no structure and some is even adding their tai chi or is a 40 centimeter style with the face to face it's a long face it's a hard style <coughs> It's no longer the soft sticking body short strike Wing Chun. And then later on, when people say that, oh, Wing Chun is from Western boxing. Why? Well, because in 1960, you've checked around. People study Western boxing before they study the 1960 version of Wing Chun. And so that they merged that boxing component or ideas inside that and some study tai chi before and so they merge the mind power fudging like in, in the tai chi but disregard of what it already no longer chong kok my son big bo even though you can hurt all the chong kok my son big bo everybody talk about it but they don't know what it is and then when you talk about uh, this uh, close body, they'll say, oh, twin, twin Q, Chong Q. Well, it's off topic stuff. Okay. So this is what I'd like to share with you. And this is also, I want to explain why most people, even they read my book, they never understand what I'm talking about in that book. Uh, actually, it's not what I'm talking about. It's what the ancient presenting the book. Why? Because their mentality is the hard way. There's a center line and the center line. I machine gun to the center line, keeping this for the centimeter angles. When you put your tan, uh, your 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 man out here, this is already 40 centimeter there, isn't it? And now you're going to punch this <coughs> 40 centimeter. Your Pat Tong Zhang immobile elbow is 40 centimeter. It tell you there already. And then you go face to face. Wing Chun is uh, 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 directly attack the center line. Oh, and then, is that true? Well, there's a hard, this is a hard style. It's a, a long fist style because Wing Chun 
do not attack center line face to face. Wing Chun attacks center line from an angle. So Wing Chun do not fighting face to face. Wing Chun attacking the center axis of the opponent from an angle. Notice the keyword. This is fighting. This is attacking. I don't want to fight him. I want to attack him because I'm a soft art. <clears throat> so I hope that this is clear for everybody. And uh, of course, with this video, Wing Chun will be split into two. Somebody want to follow whatever 1960 do as it. Somebody will hear on, will say, well, I want the, to learn the 1850s ancient Wing Chun, which is a call to the Qi Qi Guang Shaolin Sword Strength so far. It has to break now. And everybody is free to do what they want to do because the ancient Chinese culture do not deserve to get dragged down by the version 1960s Wing Chun in past 140 years. That is the reality. If this is not rectified now, people in the later, say 50, 100 years later, they will find out for sure. And that means the Wing Chuners in this era look like idiot, everyone. So we need to avoid that. You can still practice the, the hard style, long range Wing Chun version 1960. There's nothing wrong with that, your freedom. But the world know what you have practiced. You know what you have practiced. Other people know what you have practiced. You don't say, my grandmaster is the most authentic. The king of Wing Chun, this king, that king, that king, that authentic. And then thus, I know it all on the Wing Chun. And yet, actually, that is not true. That is power up the truth of the ancient just to boost your own grandmaster or lineage or whatever. For past 80 years, from Asia to America to Europe, people create all kinds of Wing Chun. But the base is always hard style, long fish. And then add in Western boxing or Tai Chi concept. This is the reality.